All right, in this video, we're going to derive a Fourier transform property. Let's assume that we have two sequences, x and y, and define z to be the product of x and y. We'll assume that we uh, have the transforms of x and y available. The question here is to figure out what's the transform of z. Now, um, with the other transforms that we're familiar with, when we multiply in one domain, we end up convolving in the other domain. So we'll look for something that uh, looks like convolution along the way. I've gone ahead and taken the first few steps. I've written down uh, the definition of the DFT of z of n. And I've also substituted x times y in for the time sequence z of n. The next step is to replace one of these, it doesn't matter which one, with its inverse uh, transform of its uh, corresponding DFT. Okay, so there we are with the substituting uh, in place of x of n, its inverse, uh, the, the, its definition as the inverse DFT of xl. Now we're going to interchange the summation, the two summations, pull out the piece that is only a function of x l, of l, which is xl. Then we have the summation on n and uh, I've combined the, co the exponentials here um, now we have something that begins to look like convolution because this sequence or this uh, piece in parentheses here looks like the definition of the the DFT of y so it would be yk but instead of evaluating at k we're going to evaluate at k minus l modulo capital n um, once again we cannot evaluate the sequence y for values outside of the range 0 to n minus 1 and the modulo doesn't do any damage to the complex exponential sequence it leaves it invariant and so uh, I've really skipped a step I should have put the modulo n in the exponential first and then we could see clearly that that's the definition of y evaluated at k minus l modulo n so um, formally uh, we can write that is 1 over n times x of k circular convolution endpoint circular convolution with y of k so um, this property is interesting because uh, in the time domain we're multiplying two sequences together two endpoint sequences and in the frequency domain we do circular convolution divided by n. So that's the transform property for uh, that we'll call that the multiplication or maybe the modulation property, maybe the windowing property depending on what uh, type of signals we're dealing with. But in general in the time domain if you multiply in the frequency domain you do circular convolution with the DFT.